My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable two-year-old little boy. On our channel, you'll find simple and tasty dinners using everyday ingredients. So we are eating from our freezer tonight for dinner. In my freezer, I have these Nathan's hot dogs. They are bun length, skinless, beef frank, so Howard grilled them for us. Here are the hot dog buns that we are going to be using. We're just having chips on the side. So Howard is finishing up these Doritos spicy nacho chips. And then I am going to be having these hot sauce cheese puffs from HEB, which is a grocery store here in Texas. These do not taste like flaming Hot Cheetos. These actually do taste like hot sauce. So there is a slight vinegar taste to them, but they're not really hot. So like a child could eat them. I mean, they're not like flaming Hot Cheetos or cheese puffs. They have a good flavor and they are delish. Okay, so we've got our plates fixed. This is Howard's plate and he's got french onion dip <laughs> so that is that white sauce that you see avocado um, ketchup and i think that's it right yes and then these are the last of the doritos as you can see they're pretty much just crumbs and then this is my plate and all i add to my hot dog is just mustard and then here are the cheese puffs so we will see you all next time Hey guys, so I am trying out a new recipe for dinner tonight. It is a cheddar broccoli soup. I'll make sure to link the recipe in the description box. So what I have in my pot so far is flour, um, onions, I have some butter and I made a roux, and then I added some chicken broth to it. You saw that I just added in some water. Um, I'm actually not using chicken broth. I'm using this bouillon. So now I'm going to add the bouillon to make the broth. So I've got my bouillon in there and I'm going to add my half and half. My carrots and my broccoli. Adding in my seasoning, and this is salt, garlic powder, and black pepper. Okay, so I've got everything in the pot. Once that comes to a simmer, I'm going to add my freshly grated cheddar cheese. Um, this is from the block, not from the package. The package has the anti-caking ingredients in it, which won't melt as well in this soup. So I will come back and show you how everything turned out. Okay, so here is the soup. I tasted it and it is pretty tasty. I would definitely make it again. To me, it reminds me of Panera, uh, Bread Company broccoli cheese soup. I did have to add some more salt. I felt like it was a little bit bland. And then I decided to garnish mine with a little bit of extra cheddar cheese. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, I am going to be trying out these um, chicken sausages from Trader Joe's. I've had them in my freezer, never tried them before. I'm just gonna cut these up into little medallions. And then I've got some fresh broccoli here that I've already chopped up um, as well. And so what I'm gonna do is saute the broccoli first, get that all seasoned up. I'm going to use some um, olive oil and then also some of this garlic and herb butter. And then I'm going to use some of this buttery steakhouse seasoning and some garlic powder um, too. And then once the broccoli is ready to go, I'm gonna add my sausage and get it all browned up. So here is Howard's plate and I am serving it with smoked Gouda macaroni and cheese. I picked this up from Aldi a while back ago. It was in our pantry, of course, and I'm not a huge fan of smoked Gouda, so I am just serving mine over some white jasmine rice. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, we are having meat lasagna from Trader Joe's. This is what the box looks like. I picked it up on a recent Trader Joe's haul, never tried it before, but everyone raved about how good it is, and it is actually really good. It's not a big lasagna. There's actually four servings in the lasagna, but it does taste homemade, 101% better than Stouffer's. So good.
With it, I am serving a side salad and we are going to be using this dressing. And then I'm also serving a croissant, also from Trader Joe's. I've talked about these a lot on our channel. They are so good. And they say mini, but they actually bake up pretty, pretty large. Um, I would definitely recommend you let them um, thaw out and proof. You can bake them directly from the oven. They're gonna be smaller. If you let them thaw out, then they rise and they're really big and puffy and so good. But anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. It is very cold here in Texas today, so I decided to make some chili. So in my pantry, I had this can of Hunt's uh, seasoned diced tomatoes in a sauce and it's really good green chili spices it has directions on the back of the can so as you can see all you have to do is add ground beef chili beans and then of course the can of the diced tomatoes very tasty i like it a lot here are the chili beans that i used also for my pantry this is howard's bowl of chili and he has sour cream and cheddar cheese this is my bowl of chili i have cheddar cheese and fritos so this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time.